Hey guys, it's Kirsty Clark here and it is day four of your super life challenge. And today we're gonna to be talking about meal planning and meal prepping. So in your email, you have a link to my favorite meal planning sheet. You can print that out, write all your family's favorite meals on those little thin post-it notes and you can rearrange it for your breakfast, lunches, dinners, and snacks. It's really easy, it's versatile, you can switch it up every week and you're doing meals that your family already loves. So I have to tell you, today I have had a crazy busy day. Um, I took a friend to the airport at 8 a.m. right after I took the kids to school. Um, after that, from 9 to 11, I had three three-year-olds over. It was my turn to do Mommy Joy School. And then I ran to the store and got the stuff. Now I'm meal prepping for dinner, which I sometimes usually ignore till later, but I can't tonight because I have the missionaries from our church over for dinner. Not only that, it's early dismissal day, so I have to get the kids in about 20 minutes, my big boys, and then my oldest has a baseball game. Right when we get home from the baseball game, we've got dinner with guests. So I couldn't just ignore it. Today, I really had to plan ahead, and I'm doing my prepping now. I'm just going to prep my stuff for the whole week, and this is what I normally do every week. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hard boil a dozen eggs because we love doing egg salad on sandwiches or in a lettuce wrap and I love having hard boiled eggs on my salads. So I like to do just a dozen eggs, um, super easy. I put mine in cold water, I boil it and then I cover it and simmer it for about 12 minutes and they're always done perfectly. So I will do my eggs first. Um, the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm actually not going to do this until about 3 o'clock, but I'm going to steam my veggies. I'm going to do rice and veggies at the same time because I have a lovely nifty rice maker and steamer. The bottom part is the rice and the top part is the steamer, and I love that I can do it at the same time. It saves me so much time. But I am in the market for another steamer, so if you have a good suggestion, please let me know. Now here's my other cool veggie tip. Do if you have kids especially, or <laughs> maybe you have a picky husband, I have heard of that before too, do more than one veggie at the same time. The flavors as they're steaming mixed together, I think it's tastier. Then your kids have choices and it's not like eat your veggies, it's is your favorite zucchini or is your favorite yellow squash. And the last time I did it, I added in um, asparagus too. And that was new for my kids. And so one of them especially was like, I'm, I want it, I look gross. My other one, my oldest, just piled the veggies on his plate. So some kids are gonna run with the veggies and some kids are gonna be picky. So for my picky ones, I give them two or three choices. I tell them to try each one and tell me which one is your favorite and whatever is your favorite, you can have more of. It's totally a trick. And then they're like, oh, I'm allowed to have more of my favorite? So then they're gonna figure out which one is their favorite and have more. And zucchini one last time, so I'm definitely doing zucchini today. All right, so that is um, steaming veggies, and you can do that, you know, and keep your veggies for a couple of days if you have enough to for leftovers. All right, the next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is, um, sorry, is yogurt parfaits, and I love doing yogurt parfaits. So I do uh, vanilla Greek yogurt, and then I find like a good natural granola. And then I add in berries and I love it with berries. I have one kid who loves raspberries and one who loves blueberries. So sometimes I'll mix them and they whine about it. Um, usually I'll do them in separate containers. Um, I'm using purple containers. The good proportion for um, Greek yogurt is a red. This is the protein container. But since I'm adding granola and fruit in, I'm gonna do it in the purple container. Okay, one more thing about the overnight yogurt parfaits. I don't mind the granola in the yogurt overnight. It gets a little soggy, but not horribly gooey. You, it still has some crunch to it. So that's totally fine. So I'll usually do that the night before, and then we'll have them for breakfast in the morning. And it's awesome um, to be able to grab and go, especially for the kids on um, crazy busy mornings. Just got out of the bath. So anyway, okay. The last thing that I will do, and I love when I do this, and some weeks I don't, but when I do, I'm always glad, is I will get extra chicken, and I'm going to put it in the crock pot. And I usually do it for about two or three hours. I'm going to help you. You're going to help me? Yay! And I'll add in like a half a cube of butter, just little slices all around the chicken. 
Make sure you use butter and not margarine. And then this time I'm gonna do um, an Italian seasoning with it. Oh, thank you for pointing. And um, I'll pull probably two chicken breast halves out, save them for the rest of the week for just, you know, my portions of chicken and to put on salads. Um, and then the rest is gonna be used for our dinner tonight. We're gonna have beef stroganoff over rice with steamed veggies for the missionaries. And I'm so excited. This is gonna be perfect because it's gonna all cook in the crock pot or the steamer while I'm at the baseball game. We're gonna come home, serve it up, and I don't have to prep, you know, right before in the meantime, because they're gonna get here probably right when we're walking in the door. So anyway, I hope that this has been helpful for you. I hope you enjoy the meal planning sheets. If you are seeing this on YouTube and you're not a part of our Super Life Challenge yet, follow the link in the comments and you can sign up. It's seven days of great it's tips. Blessing. Not quite yet. Seven days of really great tips. Um, you get a workout every day, a healthy recipe every day, and some kind of lifestyle tip like time management we've talked about yesterday, goal setting. Uh, we're also going to be talking about how to find joy in the journey, um, how to create consistent habits for long-term success, and I'm really excited to do this with you. So anyway, now, thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.